are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and the Cincinnati Reds. Two great hitters lead their teams to battle next on MLB Network. Michael Lorenzen will be the one towing the rubber for the Reds. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, you don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three, but if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. Now in the box, number six. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Leading off the night for the Angels, second baseman, number six. First offering on its way. And the first pitch of the ball game here is taken for a cold strike one. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. High in the air out to center field. Hamilton is under it. Makes the play one away. And with that, let's take a look at the Angels starting lineup. Danny, any thoughts? You know, I'm excited to watch Justin Upton right now. This guy is one of three American League silver sluggers in the outfield. You know how many outfielders there are in the league? A lot. And he walked away with one of the silver sluggers. This man can hit. So one away here with the bases empty and standing in the ever dangerous Mike Trout. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a curveball that started low and broke lower. Ball one. Game time temperature tonight a comfortable 66 degrees at first pitch. Lays off a fastball that doesn't miss by much and it's 2 and 0. Oh. Bases are empty one man out. Hey. 2 and 1. One Hard liner to center field. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. He was able to spit on that first slider right there, guys, but he didn't let the second one go. Able to execute and drive the baseball. Here's Justin Upton now as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Oh and one here it comes runners on the move for second pitch swung on and missed the throw balls there and he is out good throw. Here it comes on nothing and two. Hit high and deep to right center. After it is Hamilton. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. Angels held in check there, and now the Reds will get their first opportunity. No score. Noah Ramirez gets the ball for the Angels in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy has a four pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft, you can go in and out. And anytime you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. Striding in, Billy Hamilton. Hamilton. They leave things off here in the bottom half of the first. Sent on the ground out to second. Fielded cleanly, and the throw to first is in time, one gun. For the moment here in Cincy, let's take a glance at the Reds' starting lineup in this one. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Yeah, I'm definitely excited to see the speed and athleticism of Billy Hamilton on display. This guy has world-class speed, guys. He can fly. I love watching him run. So if you like watching a guy take over a game with his legs, he's your guy. 
Yeah. Pitch to the plate as a sinker for a called strike one. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 2. I feel like when you're facing a two pitch mix like this, sink or change up, as an offense, the game plan has to be the fact that you have to get something elevated. You know he's not going to beat you with velocity, so it's going to come down to who executes better. The 2 2. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Swing and a ball yanked down the right field line. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. When it left his bat, I thought it might curve foul, but he manages to squeak it just inside the right field line for a well-hit line drive double. By the time the right fielder tracked it down, he was easily into second. So a runner aboard at second here with one away. And standing in is the on-base machine, first baseman Joey Votto. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. Votto behind, but still dangerous, even on 0-2. Man, you find yourself down 0-2 after two great executed pitches right there. Got to look for something up. Might have to tip your hat if he can stay down below the knees like that. Now a swing and a miss by Votto, and he'll head back to the dugout as out number two. Nice two-seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of swings and misses with that pitch unless it's really moving. So that one must have had some real good late life. Oh, terrible bounce, and it goes right by him. He'll come home with it, but not in time as he's across with the run. Boy, talking about picking your teammate up after that strikeout, d -Row. Big, big, and I mean big, two-hard RBI single. Yeah, way to come through for your team. When you take the donut off your bat right there, you're trying to pick up your teammate. He had the right game plan, didn't come outside it, stayed through the baseball and was able to come through. And that brings up Scott Shebler. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Comes set and the 0-1. A swing and a miss at a ball down. Now a fastball swung on and missed and that is out number three. It's a run on two hits here for Cincinnati. We'll move to ending number two here in Cincinnati. Reds lead this one one to nothing. So here's the cleanup hitter Albert Pujols as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Albert Pujols ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit to short. Peraza scoops it up. Throw to first will be in time and there's one gone here to start the second. Okay, here's how the Reds are lining up in this one. And guys, we need to seriously focus on the defense behind the dish today. This guy brings gold to the party, the ability to block balls, keep everything in front of him, shut down a running game, and massage his pitcher through nine innings. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Head-to-head -head numbers against Michael Lorenzen, not a big sample size, 0 for 1. Hit sharply on the ground, and that finds its way through for a base hit. Hey, not an easy thing to do right there, Dero, with that stacked infield on the right side. You hit it through where the shift is, have to hit that in the right place at the right time. Yeah, he found a good result right there, Dan. Pitcher actually executed right there, got him to hit it where he wanted to, put good barrel, good contact on that ball, and was able to find the hole. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0-1. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Mine to the right side. In there, a base hit. And 
and that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Boy, Dero, the game of baseball has changed. There's so much velocity in the game. That was a 96-mile-an-hour fastball that he smoked the other way. Yeah, you have to keep your front shoulder tucked right there. You have to honor. When a guy's throwing that hard, 96 miles an hour, you have to honor that fastball and try and work it the other way to keep you on the off-speed. Number 37 is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. Popped him up. But this will land untouched. A swing and a miss for out number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Didn't mess around much in that at bat then. No, that was pretty impressive, man. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. Right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go Gretz bench. Into the box now, number three. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. Great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive. You can pretty much count on a pitcher. He's trying to get back in the strike zone. And with two guys on base right here, it's time to grip it and rip it. High and deep to center field. Hamilton going back to the track. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Angels strand a couple. They still trail 1-0. At the plate, Jesse Winker. He'll start us out here in the home half of the second. Right fielder, Jesse Winker. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A curveball that catches the inside corner. Tough sinker on the inside corner. Hey, that's obviously the game plan against this guy. Bury it in on his hands. He finds himself down 0-2 now. He doesn't know if he's coming back in there or going breaking stuff down the way. One ball and two strikes to count. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Time for a look at the Angels on defense. And let's take a look at Andrelton Simmons. You can argue this is the best defender in all the sport. Range, first step, quickness, whatever you want to throw out there, this is one of the best in the game. Ready now for Cincinnati. Tucker Barnhart. First pitch on its way. A knee-high sinker, tough pitch, strike one. One out, nobody on. The next 0 2 is taken. That's ball one. Hey, I can understand why he wanted to elevate the fastball right there. This batter's eyes have been lit up since he stepped in the box. Let's see if he gets him fishing on something breaking in the dirt right here. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. And here's Jose Peraza. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really sharp out there, guys. Good looking sinker on the inside corner. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two seamer, and the inning is over. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Noah Ramirez. Nine, one, and two do up. Shohei Otani will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 17. Shohei. 
And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. And he'll start out their half of the third, top of the order to follow. Breaks his bat as this one's popped up. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. Hey, I can only take you inside the mind right. of the batter right here. Numbers. Had a lot of swinging bunts in my day. Soon as that ball hits the dirt in front of you, you are getting it down the first baseline. When you smell a knock, I don't care what it looks like, you are getting it down the line. Into the box, number six. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. The one one. It's a fastball that misses. The 2 1. It is strike Three two, run. swinging. Nobody out, runner on first. Popped him up. Winker moving in, and this is going to wind up a foul ball. The 2 2 one more time. Now a ball lying toward the alley in left center. Hamilton makes the catch, and now they might be able to double them off at first. On to first, the double play. Now batting, Mike Trout, a base hit in his first trip. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. Line hard to the left side, but this is a foul ball. Nothing in one count, here it comes. Sliders in for a strike. Well, we know what this guy's approach is. He's looking to go absolutely deep right here. I don't see him getting anything over the heart of the plate. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Two out, nobody on. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Angels go quietly there. It remains 1-0. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Michael Lorenzen. Leading off for the red. Pitcher, Michael First pitch Lorenzen. of the at-bat on its way. Line toward the gap in left center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Hey, I'm not surprised right here this pitcher mixed in a knock. Playing in the National League, he gets way more opportunity to work on his craft from the offensive side of the ball. NL pitchers definitely have an advantage in these interleague games. Digging in the switch hitter, Billy Hamilton. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Now a bunt attempt here. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. And he pops up the bunt attempt. But that'll get foul. It's 0 and 2 now. Got him. Zero. 
Well, there's the great equalizer, the changeup, El Cambio. Listen, if you can keep that pitch in your back pocket and pull it out when you need it, like you did right there, usually hitters, they don't stand a chance. Here's the second baseman, Scooter Jeanette, as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty. It's strike one. Swing and a high pop-up back onto the outfield grass now. Number three over to his right, and that's the second out of the inning. The first baseman, number Stepping up now, Joey Votto. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. That's the wide, two and oh. Remember, he was a strikeout victim last time up, but this at bat seems to be a totally different direction. He's showing good patience now, and he's got a real good count at two and oh. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now, three and two. Full count with two outs now, so if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving it. And the third baseman makes the play. That ends the inning. One left for Cincinnati, but they're on top one to nothing. Now at the plate, Justin Upton. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. First pitch on its way to Upton. And a slider on the inside for strike one. Behind 0 and 2 now. Pitch on the way. Hit back toward the mound. And that is Byam on into center field. So good hitting on 0 and 2 nets him a leadoff single. Dan Count goes out the window with this batter right here. It doesn't matter if it's 0 2 2 0, he's locked. He has great bat to ball skills. There are some guys that just have a knack, D row, of being able to get the barrel to the ball, and this is one of those guys. Here's Albert now. He swings and grounds it to short. Scooped up. There's one. On to first, and it's a double play. The second they've hit into in these first four innings. Calhoun. There are two away now. Right fielder, Cole Calhoun. Cole Calhoun will stand in now. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. In there, 0-1. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That one looked like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. A ball and two strikes now. The one two. He swung on and missed strike three. Angels held in check there. They trail this one one to nothing. Stepping in, Eugenio Suarez. He reached on a single in his first try. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh, and this one's driven the other way and deep to the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. 0-2 the count to Suarez. Hey, he finds himself down 0-2 with the quickness. I know he's a great two-strike hitter, but this at bat, he's going to have to find a way to nickel and dime and get this thing back to even. And a neck-high fastball that time. And a full count as that misses. It's 3-2 and two now. From 0-2 to 3-2, what a great at bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. Made a miss on the off speed pitch that time. Eugenio Suarez becomes the first out in the bottom of the fourth inning. One ball, no strikes to count. And it's 
one and two. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Pound two balls in, and they get right back outside. Nice pitch. Oh, and they pull the string on a good changeup there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. That strikeout was all about setting the hitter up with hard stuff. You can see the first three pitches are coming in fast, and then he slows it down on the fourth pitch, knowing the hitter is sort of conditioned for the hard stuff. Yet another way to upset a hitter's timing. Standing in now, Jesse Winker. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Popped him up. And Simmons will make the play here to retire the side. So nothing happening this time around. We played four full. Reds out in front, one to nothing. So stepping in, Andrelton Simmons, one for one after a single his first time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Popped him up. Jeanette calls for it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now and now for the Angels, number 37. Oh for one for him here in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Yeah. The breaking ball that time in for a strike. Behind 0 and 2 now. Back to back breaking balls. He just missed that one right there, fouling it away. Do not expect a third. Popped up. Suarez over to his left. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now batting, number three. In now, number three comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now the pitch. Fastball in there for a cold strike. All bets are off for the offense right now. This guy's got a low pitch count. He's attacking the zone. They have to get more aggressive. This guy's not going anywhere. Hit on the ground is short. Peraza loves it. Throw on to Votto will take care of him at first, and the side is retired. Angels go down one, two, three. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. So digging in now Tucker Barnhart and to start out the inning it looks like they've decided to stick with the same reliever out there Dan they have Matt. I think the way he pitched the last inning kind of inspired that but it's not uncommon for relief pitchers to have troubles after they sit and watch their guys swing the bat a bit we'll see if he stays as sharp as he was before and a classic 0 2 pitch as the changeup misses low and it's one and two now and a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jose Peraza he was a strikeout victim in his first try. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And Upton's got this one. Two away now. First offering on its way. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. Yeah, Matty, he's very late on that first pitch. I, I, I got to think he was guessing off speed. Throw over to Pujols at first. He'll take care of him to end the inning. One, two, three, go the Reds. They lead it one to nothing. Next up, the two-way Japanese import, Shohei Otani. He'll lead things off for the Angels in inning number six. Into center field, line drive base hit. So the leadoff man's aboard in their half of the sixth inning. Sometimes the first pitch is the best pitch you'll see all at bat. Now Definitely coming out of his shoes, eight. aggressive style. First pitch, base hit up the middle. In now, number six. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. No hits to this point. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. That misses wide. One ball and one strike.
two balls and a strike to the Angels leadoff hitter. No runs on six hits and no errors to this point for the Angels. And the slider just stayed north of the strike zone that time. Time for him to attack on the mound. He knows this team's struggling offensively. Don't mess around and try and nibble. Just be on the attack and let them beat you. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. A bouncer up the middle. Reined in. What a flip for one. Back to first, but it's right over his head. And now, oh, this ball's going to wind up out of play. And a big mistake there. Yeah, I like the way he stayed right in there at second base, knowing he was vulnerable, but it definitely influenced the throw to first. Way offline, and he's going to get charged with an error as a result. Here comes Brian Price now out of the Reds' dugout on his way to the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. So as he departs, he can't lose this ball game, but he is responsible for the runner at second, meaning it'd be a no decision if that run right, comes across to score. Sal Out Romano, the 6'5 right-hander, takes seven. over on the mound. Sal Romano. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout. Popped him up. Jeanette is under it. Two gone. So striding in, Justin Upton, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Drilled on the ground is short. Throw on to first, and that error won't come back to haunt him after all as the inning is over. Angels leave one. They still trail one nothing. Here's Billy Hamilton standing in. Well, the reliever remains in the game here, having pitched very well, but this is a longer outing than what he's used to. It is, Matt, and I really tip my cap to him for gutting this thing out right now. On the other side, I worry they're being a little bit too greedy by leaving him out there. There are options left in the pen, and it would be a shame if all his hard work got undone because he started making some mistakes in location due to fatigue. No balls and a strike to count. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Bases are empty, one man out. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. The next 0-2. Runs a bit inside for a ball. Well, this is an approach we've seen him use effectively lately. Set up the inside and then get him out with pitches away. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. In is Joey Votto now. First pitch of the at-bat. The high fastball is in there. You know, guys, sometimes guys don't like pulling the trigger. Oh, oh. They want to see something go by, calibrate the speed, calibrate the break, and then make their adjustments off that. Maybe that's the case right here. But there to get his big glove on it is Pujols, and that'll end the inning. Reds are down in order, but they lead it one to nothing. Back here at Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati. Reds leading this one as we start the seventh. And before we commence, let's take a look at the game summary to this point. First offering on its way. High and deep to right center. Hamilton is after it. He's through first and hustling for second. And a high bounce will take it over the outfield wall. And he kicks off the inning with a ground rule double. Well, that will bring a smile to a manager's face every single time. First hitter of the inning just squares it up and bounces it over the fence. Even if it stays in the yard, that's a double either way. 
So they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. First pitch coming. Here it is. And that misses ball one. This has to be a productive at bat right here. I know you want to drive the run in and get the RBI, but you have to find a way, bare minimum, to move this runner over to third. High in the air into shallow left center. Hamilton on the move. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Ready for another chance. Andrelton Simmons. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Thought he had the inside corner that time, but it missed for ball one. Peralta comes at hitters with a good hard fastball, one that's certainly fun to watch. He's a throwback, the kind of guys that he likes his fastball. It's a good fastball, not the best fastball in the game, and he's not afraid to throw it. And you know what else, Matty V? He goes right at the hitters. Line drive to left but pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. Ready now for L.A. Number 37, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Fastball just a bit up. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Here's the two one home. Rounded back up the middle. Peraza ranging up the middle. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. Angels strand one. They're down one nothing. So now the Reds cleanup hitter, Eugenio Suarez. He's batting cleanup in this one, but will get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just a single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. Right over the middle, knee high. Popped him up. Simmons is calling for it to God. Now right fielder. In now for the Reds. Jesse Winker. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Trout is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Takes just four pitches to set down the Reds. But they hold a one nothing lead. Jared Hughes has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eight. So coming to the plate, number three. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Number three. Around the face. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Too much bite on the sinker, and he's behind 2 0 now. Three and 0 now. Well, knowing the threat this guy poses if he gets on base, I think the next pitch should be a challenge pitch. You don't want to give guys that can run a free chance to cause havoc out there, especially the leadoff guy. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. How about it? Digging in and looking for more, Shohei Otani. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. 
from the stretch here's the pitch high in the air out to center field Hamilton is under it he makes the play and the potential tying run tags from first and this will prove to be a heads up play at first as he tags up and moves into scoring position now. now back to the top of the lineup stepping in number six he struggled at the top of the lineup in this one hitless to this point strike one to start the at bat. Ready with the nothing in one pitch takes a look at a slider that catches the inside corner. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another normally not a good pitching plan to throw the same hitter the same pitch three times in a row. But both of those sliders back to back were so good. I might just go ahead and try to throw another one. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Number six is sent packing for the second out of the inning. And there's the fourth wide one, so he's aboard on the intentional walk. Well, they felt it was better to take the bat out of the hands of a guy like that. He's just too dangerous, and they decided they'll take their chances with the next guy in the lineup. Here's Justin Upton now, his career line against Jared Hughes. He's two for four. First pitch on its way to Upton. Nope. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. Well, the Angels have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now sure would be a great time. Oh, look at the sliding stop in time. A couple of walks, but no damage. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Mike Sosha heading out to home plate now as it looks as though he'll be making the double switch here. Felix Pena will come on to take over on the mound now and he'll hit in the third spot in the lineup as a part of the double switch. Chris Young will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Young. At the plate, Tucker Barnhart. Leading off for the red. Catcher. First pitch of the at bat. Tucker Barnhart. Barnhart. Swung on and missed. Outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Way in front of that fastball. Fouled off. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out, a strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. Now the pitch. Fouled away. Ready with another 0-2. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Philip Irvin will get to call the pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out from the bases empty. Will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Fastball right over the outside corner. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. 
Cincinnati's Fountain Square scene there as we welcome you back to the broadcast on MLB Network. Rysel Iglesias comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Albert Pujols. He's working on a one for three thus far. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Hamilton is under it. One out. Up next for the Indians, right fielder Cole Calhoun. Stepping into the box, Cole Calhoun. He flew out in his last at bat. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Popped him up. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. In now is Andrelton Simmons. His lifetime numbers against Iglesias. He's 0 for 4. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Missed with a slider. And that slider is almost in the dirt. I don't mind him trying to pitch him backwards right there with those two early count sliders. But now we find himself in a situation where he's going to have to come fastball. Swing and a little tapper. That rolls foul for strike one. Now the 2 1 pitch. There's a sinker that misses for a ball. Time to narrow your focus up there at the plate in a one run game. He doesn't want to walk you, so there's a good chance he's going to get something to handle right here. Now a swing and he pops him up. And this should do it. Iglesias is there. Makes the catch and the ball game is over. Wow, that's a rarity. A one nothing game in baseball these days. Both of these pitchers pitched awfully well. It's a shame one of them had to lose this game. And that one run held up tonight. one nothing the final. The Cincinnati Reds claim the victory despite being held to only three hits. Michael Lorenzen is the winning pitcher of record. Noah Ramirez only completed two innings and is charged with the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa and the lefty Dan Plezak and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. One run on three hits, one error, they left two men on base. The Angels, no run, seven hits, no errors, they left six men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 20 minutes. A reminder that post-game Metro bus service is available to Anderson Township, Cobblewood Plaza, Kenwood, and Western Hills Plaza.